Beside the river Ganges, there lived a sage. Not only was he wise, but he also possessed magical powers. One fine day, immersed in deep meditation, a peculiar incident occurred. A hawk, losing its grip, dropped a tiny mouse right into the sage's hands. The mouse with its petite tail and shiny black eyes captured the sage's heart instantly. Seeing the potential of a beautiful life within the mouse, the sage decided to use his magical powers. With a few enchanting mantras, he transformed the little mouse into a charming girl. The sage then took the girl to his wife, who had always desired a child. With joyous tears in her eyes, she embraced the girl as their daughter. They poured their love and care into her upbringing. As years passed, the little girl grew into a beautiful young woman, radiating grace and elegance. As the girl turned 18, the sage and his wife started searching for a suitable groom. The sage decreed, my daughter should marry someone who is the greatest, I believe the sun would be a good match. With a wave of his hand, the sage summoned the sun, but the daughter found the sun too hot to handle. He's too hot, father, I need someone better, she protested. Undeterred, the sun suggested the cloud god, known to block even his mighty rays. The sage, hopeful again, called upon the cloud god, but the daughter was far from impressed. He's too ugly, father, I can't marry him, she declared. Taking the rejection in his stride, the cloud god recommended the wind god. He can blow me away with just a gust, he conceded. The sage, summoning the wind god, hoped this time he'd found a match. But the daughter found a flaw yet again. He's too restless, father. I need someone stable, she insisted. The wind god, not missing a beat, suggested the mountain god. He can block my path with his grandeur, he admitted. The sage called upon the mountain god, praying this would end the search. But the daughter found him too hard and tall. He's too stern and lofty, father. I need someone softer, someone better, she said. Finally, the mountain god suggested a mouse, who could easily dig through him. A mouse can create a home within me, he stated, leaving the sage and his daughter to ponder over this unconventional choice. The mountain god suggests a mouse, who can easily dig through him. The sage summons a mouse and the daughter is delighted, yes, father, this is who I wanted to marry. The sage, in a moment of realization, recognizes this as fate. The girl was once a mouse and it seems she is destined to marry a mouse. With a wave of his hand and a chant of his magic, he transforms the daughter back into her original form, a mouse. The two mice get married and begin their happily ever after. The moral of the story is, no one can change their inherent nature.